am Lord Dotranto Aventina, rightfully betrothed of Lady Josephine Montillier. Songs of your exploits have spread to my city, Inquisitor. It's humbling to make your acquaintance. It is a pity it will not last longer. Before we duel, I trust you find the weapon to your satisfaction. Am I not allowed to pick my means of defense? Ha! Huh. Aside from the fact that your mage fire may put me at a disadvantage, I am the wounded party in this duel. Tradition dictates that I select our weapons. Of course, if you feel you might be clumsy with such a refined instrument, there is no shame in a forfeit. Rapiers will do if you're out of your depth with a more substantial weapon. <laughs> Very good. Let us begin. An admirable start, Inquisitor. I assume your elven clan stumbled upon a practice sword one day in the woods. I'm glad Lady Montillier isn't here. Exquisite as I've heard her appearance to be. Cutting you down in front of Josephine would have given a poor first impression of House Otranto to my bride. Hey, don't worry. I'll be sure to tell Josephine you fought bravely. I admire your fearlessness, but you cannot hope. Stop! Josephine. Lady Montillier. What a pleasure to... What are you doing? Lord Otranto and I are settling our differences about your betrothal. That's not your decision. The Inquisition needs you. I need you. Yet you threw yourself into danger. Why do this? Why risk everything we've built? Why risk your life? Because I love you. You... You do? He does? And I mean it. Every word. I love you too. Well fought. Lord Otranto. I'd assumed your liaison with the Inquisitor was an affair of passion or convenience, Lady Montillier. But I'm not fool enough to stand in the way of true affection. The Atrantos regretfully withdraw the terms of our betrothal. Thank you. Do not thank me. I know when I'm outmatched. I can't imagine a better ending. But wouldn't you be impressed by a dueling scar? My dearest lord, I love you precisely the way you are. Just do kiss me again.
I can't stop thinking about your duel in Val Royale. Running into the middle of the crowd, the noise, the swords flashing. I was so worried for you, but at the same time, well, it was the most exciting thing I've seen in ages. I was worried you'd still be angry that I started the duel in the first place. I was only worried for your safety. Your position allows for so little of it. You know, when I first laid eyes on you back at Haven, I hadn't an inkling we'd become so close. But you at least told yourself, my, what a stunningly handsome man. You are too much. These moments seem so dear, especially given your greater calling. Sometimes I must remind myself that I'm required to share you with the rest of the world. Hang the world. It can survive without the Inquisitor and Josephine now and then. For now, I very much agree. <laughs>